Excellent. We started. Right on the ding. <laughs> this is the worst introduction ever. Man, this is so weird. Uh, oh. Okay, sorry. I need to adjust my microphone. I don't like having a desktop mic. It's a little weird. Welcome to Super Mario World 1.7 April Fool's Edition. One might remember that- oh god, everything's set up. This is disappointing. You didn't get to see... I had an older video and it sucked. But... Uh, it's weird to return to this game. Uh, the original, like, uh, developer of this game, who I've forgotten the name of, which is kind of disappointing. You know, you should remember people who have committed suicide. They, uh... Jumped and died. And that was pretty disappointing, and that was in 2009, and ever since then, the Super Mario War, uh, just forums of the 7-2-D Pie Army, actually, or however you pronounce their name, is just dead. It's actually pretty creepy. Uh, sorry, there's something going wrong with my nose today. And you know. So let's just get started. I have settings, like, adjusted here to, like, not suck and such. Like, I've got my favorite settings on that I think I used when I was way back when and when I was first doing these videos and such. And this time, though, we've got actual quality recording and such, which is beautiful. I think quality recording. I'll have to see later on. So, Super Mario War 1.7 is a nifty game. In the sense that you've got like secrets, or at least 1.7, you have uh, secrets and weird stuff. April Fool's edition, I mean. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. If you perform a certain like movement, like, uh, what was it? Let's see. Left, left, right, turbo? No, was it right, right, left, turbo? I don't want to kill you, man. <sighs> There's a lot of, like, just combinations. Let's see if I can find one. Aw, oh, man, that power-up block. Ugh. So, yeah. <laughs> Super Mario War 1.7, April Fool's Edition, everybody. Super Mario War 1. Uh, ended at 1.8 Beta 2. Why I'm playing this one is mostly because of the secrets. It's pretty cool and such to see all like the specialized whatever the things. I do not know how to do the fireball by the way. Like it's it's oh jeez, it's Oh. Oh, there he goes. See? I I don't know how to do it. <laughs> uh, it's secrets, right? You you can hear me like destroying my keyboard. It it would probably work better on a on a fireballs. It would probably work better on like uh, not insane crazy crush your own key like fingers keyboard, but it probably on a controller would work a little better. <clears throat> oh, now I see where the seconds are. Sorry, I was looking at my recording software. Camp Studio actually. Yeah. Oh man. I'm just looking over everything. It's like, yeah, yeah, we got all this crazy crap and cool stuff. Super Mario War isn't really all that awesome. In, um. Let's just do frags. It gets another game mode out of the way and I get to talk a bit more. Okay, so this is killing people as opposed to dying and such. So it's more or less the, the person who, like, bashes the living crap out of the players more. Let's see if I can do that roll and actually like make use of it as opposed to like destroy the world and everything of, that I, like everyone knows and loves nope nah. it's like you no how do i do this how do i do this <laughs> that's another secret shit ah man, i got it working man this sucks It's, you roll down. I just, yeah, there we go. I have no idea what the hell this is even supposed to be useful for. <laughs> uh, that, that thing that you showed up at the bottom right is a, I remember that. It was a boss fight thing. 
I guess I should change the map. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do multiple things at once. And I'm driving my own say myself nuts. A uh, difference here also is that the custom levels made by yours truly when I was like, what, fucking 12? Uh, are no longer around, so garbagey, crappy levels are no longer a thing. I'm pretty happy about that, that I don't have to shuffle through a bunch of shit just to actually get anything done. Excuse me, I cannot do time limits at all. I'm losing! Horribly! Excuse me while I grab this hammer. Destroy the world! Gotta kill everything. Your stupid crown will be mine. Oh man. Oh shit, I was looking at the time and I died horribly. What is wrong with me today? I'm gonna lose. Oh well, it's only necessary. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I hate jumping. Alright, um... Yeah, it's kind of disappointing to see this game sort of die, in the sense, along with its developer. But that's only to be a thing. What is the, the thing is, he's not the main developer! It's just sort of like, oh man, we as a development team got all bummed out! Oh. Because he wasn't the only guy there! That was bad timing. DASH! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was also a cheat. Which I'm not sure actually if it went all the way, if it lived it all the way into the main game. Ugh. I used to be good at this game. Then I took a... developer death to the, to the heart and uh, I became terrible at this game because I... I stopped playing this game too. When, uh. Ah. Uh, if I could just remember his name. When Person Thing died. And I remember these levels and things like that. Like, hey, Battlefield! Like, when I first played this game, this was the first level I ever played. It's like nostalgia and stuff. And I think I actually played Domination. And I was Kirby. And Mario, I think. Players divided by one. How about no? Ten bases. Who the fuck? Okay. Oh, this is good. This will be amazing. This is going to be the most chaotic piece of shit. And I'll be able to talk because then... Points. Alright. So now I get to talk a bit more about this game, is, since I can go a little more casually about this, because this isn't really about killing players anymore. So this game had a level editor and all that stuff, it was actually pretty uh, cool. It was a game that I got because I wanted to uh, level, like make levels in games, because I love modding things and such. And thus... Uh, I was looking for like free level editors. I can't remember what the hell it was though that got that thing. Okay, I'm confused. Why did that guy show up? Oh, this is he's restricted to base grabbing. Of course, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of stuff today. Today I'm not gonna be opening up the cheats folder. I'm basically gonna just do what I can remember, which I do. I was, I used to be able to uh, activate some things. Continuing. So yeah, I was looking for level editors. In fact, looking around for free level editors is actually a whole lot of coolness. I don't know if like it's the same as in 2000 like what? Late. <laughs> but you used to be able to find some pretty wacky levels and like level editor software and stuff that was nuts. Yeah, that's something to do with capturing like a bunch of bases at once. Doomshroom. And then I found Mario ROM hacking, actually, afterwards. 
and so any production with this. That's why there's so many levels, because I got this game specifically to make stuff. Not to play it. Though in the end I did get pretty good at the game. One could guess. But as I was saying, the developers kind of just got bummed out. It wasn't so much that they... La like, that everybody died. <laughs> it's more that... Eh, lead guy died and... Bullet Bills. He got killed with power. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I'm just, I'm trying to concentrate and I go all like monkey stupid on everybody and it's not making any sense. I remember Cactus Canyon. Cactus Canyon, you're from a- I died. You're from a recording that didn't- <sighs> that didn't work. This is a strange level. I remember the, uh, back when I played like, oh no, those cactuses kill me, thanks. There are lots of drugs allocated with this level, holy shit. What? This shouldn't exist. What, what is that? Spikes. Huh? I'm confused. What? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think about this level and stuff and... I'm getting seriously whacked out right now. Oh, the aspect as it goes like that. Alright. I was a little whacked out right there because I wasn't too sure. It's not easy to concentrate during this game since it's a, it's a deathmatch game and there's always stuff going on, so I'm gonna like talk to you and then I kind of just fail miserably at it because... Oh, thanks game. I'm trying to figure this level out. It's not working. I am not appreciating this. <laughs> no, I do not want sticky keys. <laughs> uh, this is just basic conversation now. Idle chit chat. How are you doing today? I'm playing a game developed by a dead person. How <laughs> fucking morbid. Let's not talk about it too much, because then eventually I'll get really, really, like, redundant and stupid, and I'll be like, yeah, I know, it's just, it's so funny, right? And then I'll, like, lol all the way to, like, my grave. Because somebody's gonna kick me in the shit for this. I think someone's gonna kick me in the shit for all the stupidity I'm doing. I can't play this game, I'm sorry. I just have to admit it, that I just can't, I can't play this game properly. <laughs> Cactus. <laughs> Cactus! <laughs> I can run very fast. I can go Sonic the Hedgehog on everyone's asses. Damn it! Oh, I'm winning, okay. I really thought there was gonna be more to, like, talk about in this game. But it really doesn't look like. Yeah, so if you want a free game, you want to make, like, one-screen levels, enjoy yourself. Like, I bet, I bet, here's a thing that could be, like, referential.
Koopas, Koopas everywhere. Goombas. Yeah, that's gonna destroy the world. I remember that. This is a classic level. By the way, I'm not gonna be able to concentrate at all during any of this. You just got killed by a Goomba. <laughs> this is also a level uh, that gives you the access, of the access to a uh, green hammer bro. That's a red hammer bro. That's combos, actually. Here, it's if you kill a certain number of enemies at once or something? I don't know. It was some crazy numberation thing. There was a lot more I wanted to talk about. It's just I'm having trouble like remembering what the details were. It was like a day ago or something like that. There's been a bunch of stuff that has happened over the single day. I know it sounds crazy that you could end up forgetting an entire like skit. But it's possible. You just have to suck really, really, really badly. And I know people like to achieve this. There's a little code that enables you to, um... Hmm. I can stand still and not die. It's amazing! <laughs> um... There we go. Once again, I'm looking for the time, and I can't see it. And it's also being displayed in seconds, which makes it a bit difficult to identify. I guess I could talk about what I've been doing, I don't know. I've really been wanting to do some Let's Plays, and amazingly enough, a big Let's Play I really want to do is uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Just... What I want to do is I want to use, like, just the, the skill... Skills! Quote, okay massive quotations I had um, or have I mean <laughs> I have them it's not that I had them to um, like just e exploit certain gimmicks of the game had I gotten that boomerang I could have shown off something else there's a lot of games I really want to play and I know Super Mario Sunshine's been played like, I don't know, something like... I don't know, some stupid amount of time. That was dumb. <laughs> what is going on here? Actually, with all these shells around, I should show off another one of the tricks. That is if the, t if the shell lasts long enough. That! Booster shell. I don't know what its actual, like, you know, specialized namey thing is, but... Booster shell. It's a wood. A general thing is that the AI really can't handle certain, like... Doings of things. What the fuck?! There is no there's almost nothing harder than trying to kill someone with a spike shell, yet it's happening to me every time I even get a spike shell. Yeah, it's gonna be a long time before I actually start playing with hard AI again. In fact, it might be f never, because I don't think I'll ever really care. That's an unfortunate part about me, I just can't talk with action. Obviously. The very moment I start, the words start coming. We just wait. <laughs> it's hard. So, <clears throat> as we were saying. Yeah, that was a skit, I think. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm getting sick and tired of your shit. You broke the shell! I hate you so much. There's enough of this. Oh, damn it. Homing bullet bills was a thing. Oh.
Well, something absolutely chaotic can occur if two people fire bullet bills at the same time. They'll collide with each other and cause absolute chaos. So that's what happens if you try to perform that trick and you don't know what you're doing. That's what happens when you play the game and you don't know what you're doing. Am I winning or not? I don't even know. Some people have the uh, plan to remake this game. Kyoshi's eggs, why not? Let's go to a wide open level. Yeah, that looks good. There's no configuration? What? Oh man, this is like the old Yoshi's eggs. Fuck you. <laughs> there's old Yoshi's eggs and then there's like 1.8 Yoshi's eggs, which is fucking crazy. Since the game offers like multiple colors of Yoshi. And it's it gets absolutely insane. It's hilarious. So that's one of the mini game changes. There's actually a couple mini games that really got an overhaul and are really awesome in 1.8 that I really can't show off and I want to show off, but that's when I start playing 1.8, not this one. That guy gave Yoshi an egg through the wall. There's something really fucked with the spawning because the uh, the arenas are just so small. <laughs> what was that? You can encounter the crappy craps. Uh, you can you can encounter the red uh, guy. I'll just call him that. Uh, yes, <laughs> I will go nuts all over your face. Supposedly, it was Super Mario One Point Super Mario War. I keep wanting to call it by its version name along with everything else. Super Mario War was inspired by Mario War, the DOSBox Mario fan game. I never looked into this, but I at one point did have Super Mario War 1.1. I don't think I got it working though. There was something wrong with the uh, sound file or something like that that people kept talking about, and I think that's what happened to me too. When you have to get stuff to, from point A to point B, death is basically going to be a huge thing for you. You're going to be dying all over the place. And that's not because you suck, it's because you're trying to, like, you know, play the game. And the AI promptly will wreck your shit under any condition. It's amazing. It's mostly because the AI is more prompted to wreck your shit. That always worries me when I hear that. I no longer really do any Mario ROM hacking, or like even level editing in this. I should like just pull up the level editor for a video and just go nuts on it and be like, Hey look, this is what we can do and I should also maybe pull up the broken Super Mario War 1.7 that I have on my computer. It's actually quite funny. Oh yeah, you can keep playing. About being able to continue playing the game after... Oh man, think about this too, there's there's a whole lot of things that are different, like... Yes. Fifty will go fast. I'm just having fun, I don't know how long this video is going. Like, I remember like this one, there was like the added... Wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm sorry, I need to not do that level. I need a level that's hazards, but not a stupid level. That works! <laughs> I immediately die. <laughs> is this... Oh god, this isn't healthy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get telefragged <laughs> in a non-telefragged fashion. Where am I? I HATE THIS GAME! <laughs> the, the spawning is terrible in this game, by the way. I'm just gonna throw that out. I don't remember if there's, like, settings that you can put. I know there's don't spawn here settings, but with this... 
you can't move don't spawn here's so you can't have it scroll with the moving platform that's like crushing the universe Yeah, this is a gimmick, like an, uh, an idea of like just how levels can be set up. You can have these stupid as hell ones that are just absolute chaos. By the way, that ding is gonna get on your nerves. I'm sorry. No, no. Level over. Just an example of how fast you die in this. Yeah, you don't get much reaction time. But what I'm doing here, you actually see my coin counter going down. So while I'm talking, I'm going to be killing myself. It's not hard. <laughs> you can totally do that. Uh, Super Mario 1.8 is actually, there's a video that you can find on it that talks about its, like, details and things like that. It's from 2000 some ass. As I already said, the game, the series pretty much died in 2009. People are really disappointed by the distru like, the death of their beloved series. But, uh, it's only the remaining, like, ten people on the forums. I'm gonna get all sentimental and things like that about the death of like forums and things like that. It's quite disappointing to watch something like Decay. That's actually a fun thing to talk about. What what have you seen just die and the only thing you have ever found was an old archive in the state of decay that you might have been able to tear back with your claws with like the Wayback Machine. <laughs> and I know that's dramatic and shit, but have you ever heard of G-Man? Like, I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, Half-Life, the Half-Life G-Man, and now everybody's lost, everybody loses, now he wins. T Tifa Comics by J-Man, G-Man, G-Man, G-Man. Oh man, this is the stupidest shit. I don't remember how I found it, but I found it through like the ultimate dumb. And it was just so great. <laughs> it, it was it was crap. It was like a mix between using like models Super Poison Mushroom today. It was mixed between using like models, uh sprites, hand drawn shit. I think they inverted the colors on something once or twice. Of just the main character using Tifa from like whatever Final Fantasy game where she was actually given an actual like model body or whatever. Um, and just going nuts. Like, it's the stupidest shit. Like, it was basically her versus the world. And it was a comic and it was hosted on the guy's website. The guy's website's gone. The only other website to host it is like. Alive, but they've forgotten what I they it seems to be and be forgotten. And I, I kind of want to know has anybody else ever seen Tifa comics <laughs> like this game? This, if if you ever find the the website, it's really fucking hard. I, I actually I can't even post a, a thing actually. That's actually kind of disappointing. I can't even post a link, like a Wayback Machine link, to it since I really don't. I guess it's just called Tifa Comics. Like it was Tifa versus something. You can find it. Eventually, you'll find it. It's on a website that no longer gets hosted. <laughs> you'll have to look up the website. It'll probably eventually disappear infinitely, and that's when the thing will be gone. But you basically get a very dilapidated website if you use the Wayback Machine to go to the right dates and shit. And it's awesome. Amazingly enough, a lot of the pictures still work, but as I already said, dilapidated. Some of them are just impossible to read now. They were just comics. It sucked, yeah, but it was like, it was fucking awesome in the sucky way. You gotta know that. Like, what? King Kong vs. Godzilla? That sucked, but I fucking love it. It's just campy. 
I'm talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm super, I should be talking about Super Mario War 1. Point, fuck, and I can't even like not swear. I'm wasting all the time. Hmm. Um, I think I've spent enough time. <laughs> uh, just sort of talking about this. Uh, next video, we're gonna be playing Star on uh, Shine. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, everything's been set up right, and uh, this video looks good. Yay! Kai one two three four nine. Oh man, getting destroyed by nostalgia again. <laughs> Ow!